Hey everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software, continuing uh, this video series on print-based output in Madcap Flare. And starting with this video, we are going to begin building some uh, really customized PDF output. And I like to begin from the end, knowing what the end product is supposed to look like. And because this is a fancy uh, PDF, I need help. Uh, because I'm not a graphics person. I'm not, that that isn't my skill set to go, you know, paint up something beautiful and say, yeah, okay, this is what we're going to do. There are people that are better than that. So what I uh, do is I work with a graphic designer and I'll explain this is what I want to do. And then that person will give me a mock-up, a fancy schmancy mock-up. And then I will use that and uh, and just try to recreate that. Now, what I am going to be doing is uh, using a mock-up. What I did was I went to the graphic designer and we already have some fancy templates out on the Madcap software website for online output. In fact, let me show that to you real quick so you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this page of the Madcap software website. If you scroll down, you're going to see there's these templates and some pre-written manuals, things that you can leverage when you want to begin a project. If you want something that just looks cool already, and then you can swap out, you know, your, your branding for that. And so if you're wondering, how do I get to this page? Well, let me show you a real easy way. That is in Flare, when you go to create a new project and uh, I've got to slide this over and click next. And you get to the template page down here. It says download additional project templates. You click on that. It takes you to that web page. So what I did was I just thought, OK, um, I'm, I am I, I don't want to recreate the wheel. I want to start out with a design that's already out there. But the thing about these templates, if you watch the previous uh, video in this series, you know that I I worked from a template uh, in part of that that was set up for online and print output. And the thing about these templates, these fancy templates on this page is they're only online. Uh, that's what they're set up for. You can add print to it, but the design and everything, all of the pieces, it's just going to give you online output out of the block, out of the box. So I went through this and, and I was thinking, I'm going to pick one of these fancy templates and show it to the graphic designer and say, I want to create a PDF, a fancy PDF that looks like it goes with this online output. So you, I just scroll through these so you can see what the, each of these looks like. All right. Each one has a different look, a different color scheme, different images in it. They're all really cool. It just depends on your personal preference, what you want. So just go through all of these. And and I I just decided, um, I think, this, so this one right here, this Del Mar, I just picked that one. I thought that looks pretty cool. Show the output. I, I downloaded it. So you download it right there, and then you open it up in Flare and you have you just have it. And then if you were to build it, this is what the output looks like. So you can come up here, this is your navigation, hover over these to get to different topics. Uh, you got your big hero image in here, uh, search bar, these tiles with links to things, footer page. And then if you open up one of the internal topics, you get this, you still got your hero image behind it. Then you have this, rectangle that's reserved for your actual topic text. And over on the right, you're gonna see, oh, you got a, another search bar in here and a toolbar, a topic toolbar. And then this thing right here is some mini navigation. This was created using something called a menu proxy. Um, there is something that's related to it called a mini TOC proxy, um, but this allows you to see the, the topics that are just kind of around the one that's open and, and quickly link to those. Then you come down and you got your footer at the bottom. That's what the output looks like, the online output looks like. So I showed this to the graphic designer and I said, hey, I just want to get a fancy PDF, a mock-up that uh, 
looks like the PDF goes with this thing right here. So that's what she did. She gave me uh, a mock-up. And so that's what we're using. We're using the mock-up, the PDF mock-up to kind of get our plan together and recreate it in our Flare project. So this is what I got back from the uh, graphic designer. And I asked, uh, can you just give me, you know, the look of these different pages? You want to you want to provide your designer with as much information as possible. So I said, hey, I want uh, uh, I, I want a title page and a copyright page and a, and a TOC. And then I'm going to have some chapters. And at the end, I'm going to have uh, an appendix and an index. And I said, could you also give me some specs on this uh, so that I know exactly what colors, what fonts, what sizes and things like that. So she gave me this uh, PDF and it begins with this overall uh, look at the colors in here with hex numbers, the primary colors that are going to be used and then fonts. And she chose this uh, Roboto, Roboto font family. And so there are different ones. There's re regular Roboto or re Roboto regular. And then there's Roboto Light, Roboto Medium, Roboto Bold, or I think, actually think it's called Black. And there, I think there are some other Roboto fonts out there too. And it is actually what I use in uh, our documentation. So I already had that, but um, you might need to, you know, go get that. And then she laid out, all right, here are some of the main pieces of content and the the fonts and the font sizes used for these different things. All right, so that's great. Come down here and I start seeing the pages. Uh, so this is the fancy title page. And so she's telling me, all right, there's the logo and uh, you know how long, how wide that should be. And there's some text up here. And she used this lorem ipsum, this Latin text, just as placeholders. Uh, with the idea that I would fill it in with whatever I wanted. So you got that up there, you got you know, a title here, this bullet stuff, got the same hero image. And some of these images that you see in here, the logo, the hero image, the these icons down here, they're already part of that project. So some of these I can just get from the project, but other ones, as I see, I might need her to provide me with new images. And so there's a lot of back and forth on this when you get the mock-up. And uh, she might not supply all of the specifications. For example, like, I don't know how much space between here and here, between the hero image and this text down here. So, you know, some of it you, uh, in, in this in this video series, uh, I have some information, some I'm probably just gonna make up uh, instead of going back and forth too much with her. Uh, and so this is what the title page looks like, a fancy title page down here. And so it's up to me to decide what the content is going to be. And some of this is just decoration and this footer down here with the logo. All right. So that's my title page. Come down. Next page is the copyright. Pretty, pretty simple here. I got the logo again and some text and you got a different footer. Uh, with some contact information for the company. All right, I can put that together. Now we got our generated table of contents. And so what she's given me here, uh, so it has chapter one, so I'm gonna need to do some auto numbering. So I've got chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so on. And then these, uh, there's the chapter title, and that has a leader and a number, and then the header under that. Okay, so I know what the table of contents is supposed to look like, although I might need to fill in some missing pieces here because this is just chapters and I also have an appendix and an index, so I'm going to have to cross that bridge when I get to it. Maybe I would go back to her and ask her to put that in, or maybe I just kind of make it up. But I, I might have enough information to do it on my own. Footer looks the same as the the one up here on the uh, on the title page, although I probably want different information in in there and it doesn't have page numbers in here if i want some i can use this uh this area for that then you get down here to the um actual chapters all right so i've got my chapter one here there's my auto number fancy within an orange rectangle and then my headings and content bullets and stuff 
And remember on the uh, online uh, output for that, for this project, showed you that those individual topics had that mini TOC over on the side. Well, she did the same thing over here. She put this mini TOC so I can look at what I've got, you know, in the rest of this chapter and page numbers go with it. Okay, so I got to do that. Come down here, footer again, it's up to me to supply that. So the chapters are going to go and go and go, you know, however many I have. And she only gives the first page of the chapter. So the second page, the subsequent pages, that's up to me to decide, do I want something different or do I, you know, other than the, you know, the chapter number and, and this, do I just, you know, have start text up near the top? Uh, appendix is going to look like this. She gave me, she went from appendix to heading three and some bullets in here. And I might, you know, the appendix is just going to be, it's, it's going to vary on the content. So I might just ignore it starting with an heading three, you know, it's whatever content I want to be in the appendix. Footer, now we got an index, an index, and we got three columns and we got these index headings uh, for the, you know, sections of the alphabet in here. And it's got a footer. All right. So those are the sections in the mock-up. So the first thing I do is I just kind of look through this and study this. And now I got to figure out what, what pieces am, am I going to need to make this happen? I asked my graphic designer for a fancy mock-up. She gave me a fancy mock-up. And now I need to figure out, all right, uh, what's my plan? What do I need? And if you watched the previous video, you already have kind of an idea of the different files and pieces that come together. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to need page layouts, definitely, for these different sections. How many I need, that might become clear as I go through this. But I'm thinking, all right, I got the, the title page, got the copyright page. I could have separate page layouts for those, or I could put them into one page layout. Uh, the TOC, the generated TOC, I probably want to do a separate page layout for that because that I, I think I'm going to have page numbers for and I don't for the other things. And oh, down the road, I might keep this simple uh, according to the mock of just the, the footer looks the same for all the pages. But in the future, maybe I want the footer to be different depending on the page. Maybe I want left and right pages where the margin is wider on one side than the other side. I don't know. So I'm going to do a different page layout for that. And then chapters, I'm going to do a separate page layout for that. Keep those special. And then I uh, got my back matter, got uh, appendix, got index. And that index is really different from the appendix. Got three columns in there. I'm going to do separate page layouts for those. All right. Getting my plan together. So page layouts, I'm also going to need topics. So I of course, all the regular topics that make up the chapters, those are just kind of a given. I got those, but I'm also going to need some unique topics uh, like you saw in the previous video. If you watched that, something for the topic, got, got the copyright page, going to need to create something for uh, the appendix. The index, I could automatically generate like I did in that easy one, but because I want some customization to it, I'm going to probably going to create my own topic and insert an index proxy for that. And then uh, variables. So one of the cool things about Flare is, yeah, I'm going to spend um, a lot of time on that, that title page, especially in the next video. But the cool thing is it's not just about building this, you know, beautiful page, looking page with the image and the colors and blah, blah, blah. It's not just about that. It's the pieces in there will be using variables. And that is key because then I don't have to keep recreating these fancy title pages for all these PDFs I want to do. I can just swap out the variables as I go. So I'm going to have variables and then styles. I'm going to need styles because I got to control the look of all of these different elements. So those are probably the main pieces, the, the key elements that I'm thinking that I'm going to need. So I I'm going into this with a plan of the things that I'm going to need to create. And so we're going to begin uh, from the top down. I'm going to start with that title page. That'll be in the next video. And then 
the next videos after that, I'm just going to go on down the bottom till I get the thing done. So I'll see you in that next video.